morning and welcome to today's 20 minute pop-up yoga class today's practice we are going to focus on connecting with our breath linking our breath to our movement becoming aware of our breath so because we're going to focus so much on the breath today i'm going to give less cues for alignment so it's really important that you pay attention to your body if something doesn't feel right then make whatever adjustments you need to as long as you're not in pain or strong discomfort you're probably okay so don't worry too much if the pose isn't perfectly aligned today we're really going to focus on the breath if you've practiced yoga regularly, most of these poses will be very familiar with you, probably all of them. So we're going to begin today in a comfortable seated position. If you'd like to sit up on a pillow or a folded blanket, you're invited to do that. So once you find a comfortable position, if it's comfortable, you may close your eyes. You can let, let your hands rest on your knees or on your lap. Your spine grow tall, your shoulders relax. And we'll turn our attention to our breath. Taking notice of the inhale and the exhale. Perhaps saying quietly to yourself, inhale on the inhale and exhale on the exhale. You don't have to change or modify your breath right now. Just let it be what it is and notice it. Now we'll begin to restrict the breath in and out your nose if that feels okay. So inhaling in through your nose and exhaling out through your nose. You can begin to lengthen the inhale and the exhale, allowing your breath to become deeper and smooth. Allowing yourself to be centered as we bring symmetry to the inhales and the exhales. Allowing our nervous system to come into a place of calm. And with your eyes either closed or if you'd like to, you can go ahead and open them. We're going to go ahead and begin to move our bodies in a circular manner. You can make the circles big or small. But we're really going to focus on connecting the breath to the movement. So as we circle to the front, we'll take a nice deep inhale. And as we circle to the back, a slow exhale. So that might mean your circles need to be small so that you have time to take full breaths. Inhaling to the front and then exhaling as you round the back. And the next time you're circling to the front, pause at the very front, and reverse and go the other direction. And inhaling on the front half, and exhaling on the back. Your mind may quiet 
as you focus on the breath, where you might find that your thoughts increase. Either way is fine, as much as you can. Keep breathing with the movement. And we'll go ahead and come to stillness, both sitting bones flat on the ground and growing tall through the spine. Then we'll take some breaths with the arms, so we're going to inhale as we sweep the arms up, bringing them together at the top, and then exhaling, bring your hands down. Inhaling as you sweep the arms up overhead, then exhaling to come back together. You can look up a little bit if you'd like on the inhale. Just keep the breath. Inhaling to sweep up and exhaling to bring your hands back down. And we'll do one more. Very good. Go ahead and do a couple side stretches with the breath. So we're going to inhale and grow tall, sweeping the arm up. And exhaling, lean to one side, softening into the stretch. Inhaling to grow tall, and exhaling to bring the hand back down. Inhale and grow tall. Exhale, stretch to the side. Inhale to grow tall once again, and exhale to lower the arm. Inhale to sweep the arm and grow tall. Exhale to gently stretch. Inhale, growing the spine tall, and exhaling, bring the hand back down. Last time, inhaling, growing tall, exhaling, stretch. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale to lower. Good. We'll do a gentle seated twist now with the breath. So we're going to inhale, growing tall, inhale. Lifting up and then exhaling, putting one arm in front and one arm behind and gently twisting to one side. If you're pregnant, just keep the stretch or the twist nice and gentle. On each inhale, we'll feel the spine grow tall again. And on the exhale, allow yourself to soften into the stretch, into the twist. And we'll do one more breath here. Going tall on the inhale and releasing on the exhale. On your next inhale, you can come back to center, arms growing tall, and exhaling to twist to the other side. One arm in front, the other behind. Growing tall with each inhale and twisting a little bit deeper with each exhale. Inhale, growing tall, and exhale to release. And then on your next inhale, bring your arms back up, and exhale, release them to your side. And we'll go ahead and move now into cat-cow. You can do this on a chair if you prefer, or if you're on the ground and you want to put a blanket underneath your knees, you're welcome to do that. Shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. We'll inhale to pull the chest forward, drop the belly and lift the chin. Inhaling to cow and exhaling, lifting the belly and lowering the chin, marching up into cat. So when we link the breath here, we always inhale, we pull the chest forward and drop the belly and exhale to arch. So let your breath decide how quickly you move through these. Inhaling as slowly and deeply as you can, linking the breath to the movement. one more. Good. And 
coming back into neutral spine, we'll walk the hands forward a little bit, tuck the toes, and we'll move into a downward facing dog. So on the inhale, we're going to lift the hips up and back. You can keep your knees bent here at first. And on an exhale, imagine you're releasing the energy into your fingertips. Lifting your hips up and back on each inhale, letting the spine lengthen just like we did in the seated positions. And exhaling, letting the energy flow down into your fingers and your toes. If you'd like, you can pedal your feet just a couple of times here. Keep your breath flowing. And then you can return to either bent knees or working the legs towards straight. We'll take a couple more breaths, inhaling to feel the spine grow tall as the hips pull up and back. And exhaling, allowing the energy to go down into your fingers and your toes. And one more, inhaling, growing tall, lifting the hips and exhaling. You can walk your hands and feet together, placing your hands wherever they naturally fall, and we'll take a couple breaths in the forward fold. If your breath has gotten a little bit less shallow, a little bit more rapid, here you can try to lengthen it once again. Deep, slow inhales. Nice, slow exhale. And on your next inhale, we'll press through the feet, sweep the arms up, come to stand, and exhale to bring your hands together at your heart. Very good. We're going to do a couple half sun salutations. So you can move toward the front of your mat, feet shoulder width apart, or you can bring your feet together. And we'll inhale, sweeping the arms up, exhaling, bending at the hips to fold forward. On an inhale, we'll pull the crown of the head forward, bringing your hands up to your shins or your thighs to create a nice flat back, and exhale to release. Inhale, press through the feet, lift through the arms, and exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. We'll do two more half sun salutations flowing with the breath. Inhaling to sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to flat back. Exhale to fold and release. Inhale, come up to stand. Exhale hands together at your heart. Last time, inhale to sweep the arms up. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to come to flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhaling to sweep those arms up overhead and exhaling to bring your hands together at your heart center. Very nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and stand with our feet wide. And we'll do a couple standing poses here. So with the toes somewhat turned in, feet as wide as is comfortable, we'll bring the arm straight out and externally rotate the right foot. Do a quick alignment check just to make sure your right heel is intersecting the left arch. Turn to look over the right shoulders. And on an inhale, we're going to bring the arms up, growing tall through the spine. And exhaling to bend that right hand, or bend the right knee, lowering the arms into warrior two. So we'll inhale to straighten the arms, growing tall, and exhaling to bend and release the arms. Inhale, straighten and lengthen. Exhale, bend and let the arms come down. Inhale to straighten, exhale to bend. Again, moving at the rate that your breath shows you. 
trying to make the breath as deep and as smooth as possible. And we'll do one more on this side. Come back to stand, bring your hands to your hips for a moment, turn the right foot in now, the left foot at the hip, turning out, making sure that your left ankle is hitting the inside arch on the line of your right foot, and we'll inhale to grow tall, and exhaling to bend the left leg, looking over the left fingertips and lowering the arms. Inhaling to straighten the legs and grow tall, Exhaling to bend and lower the arms. Inhaling to bring the arms together and exhaling to release. Try to move nice and slowly through these. Trying to keep the breath moving in and out through your nose the whole time as possible. And we'll do one more. Inhaling, growing tall, and exhaling to release. Good. And straighten the leg. Bring your hands to your hips. Walk your feet together. And we'll come back to the front of the mat. And we're going to do a partial sun salutation to get down to the floor. So with the feet shoulder width apart or feet together, we'll inhale. To bring the arms up, exhaling to fold forward. Inhaling to come into a flat back, exhaling to fold, step back with one foot and then the other, placing your hands on the ground, lift your hips up and back and come into a downward facing dog. We'll take three slow breaths here and then we'll rest in child's pose for a moment. So again, on each inhale, pull your hips a little bit farther up and back, lengthening the spine and exhaling to soften. And one last breath here. Good. And then we'll drop the knees, bringing the knees as wide as the mat, bringing the big toes together, hinging at the hips, and allowing your forehead to rest on a block or a pillow or on the mat. And we'll take a couple breaths here in child's pose. Probably hear your breath a little bit more clearly in this pose. Hearing each inhale and each exhale. See if you can smooth the breath out just a little bit as we take a moment here in child's pose. And then walk your hands towards your knees. You can sit up. You can swing your feet around in front of you. And we're going to come into a bound angle or child's, or not child's pose, bound angle or butterfly pose. So bringing the soles of your feet together. You can bring your feet close to your hips or farther away, whatever feels good in your body. You can put your hands on your ankles or you can put them behind you to help support your spine, whichever feels okay today. And on an inhale, feel the crown of your head pull up. And exhale, allow yourself to fold forward however far feels comfortable. If you've got a block or a pillow or anything that you'd like to put under your forehead here, you're always welcome to do that. Or you can just let your head fall however it likes. And we'll just take about five breaths here. And allow the breath to be smooth and deep. And 
One last breath here. Good. Coming up nice and tall, and we'll just take a minute or so in a Shavasana. So you can bring your knees together, bringing your ankles wide, or you can extend your legs straight out ahead. You can also roll over onto your left side if you'd like. If it feels okay, you can allow your eyes to gently close. And place one or both hands on your belly. And for this last moment here, we will feel the belly fill with breath on each inhale. And allow it to lower and release with each exhale. Gently allow your eyes to open and roll over onto your left side. Use your hands to help you come back to a comfortable seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today. I feel you. I hope you feel a little bit more grounded and centered in your breath. And have a wonderful day. I look forward to practicing with you again soon.